Good morning slash afternoon. Welcome to today's video where we will be taking a deep dive into the consumer debt crisis in the United States. At the end of 2022 consumer debt hit an all-time record high of $16.9 trillion across all categories including mortgages, auto loans, student loan debt, and credit card debt. At first glance it might seem odd that consumer debt is increasing while the overall economic environment is still recovering from the pandemic. But it isn't as much of a puzzle as it seems on the surface. To get a better understanding of the situation, let's take a look at some of the numbers. Mortgage debt continues to rise despite a decline in originations. At the end of 2022 mortgage balances hit 11.9 trillion US dollars, a 250 billion US dollar increase from Q3 and a full 1 trillion US dollar increase from the same time a year ago. That being said, delinquency rates for mortgage loans are still surprisingly low at 0.57%. On the other hand, auto loan debt is seeing a 0.6 point increase to 2.2% delinquency rate, while credit card debt's delinquency rate has jumped 0.8 points to 4%. The reason for the dramatic increase in consumer debt can be attributed to the aggressive rate hiking campaign of the Federal Reserve. The rates are now at 4.5% 4.75% and they've increased seven times during the year, including four consecutive increases of three quarters of a percentage point. These hikes can affect areas such as credit cards, mortgages and auto loans. This follows a trend of the United States government borrowing, with the overall debt at 31.5 trillion US dollar up from 29.6 at the end of 2022. So the picture is beginning to come into focus. Low unemployment rates have kept consumers' financial footing strong, but increasing prices and interest rates are making it harder for those same borrowers to repay their debts. It is clear that even though the economic environment is still recovering from the pandemic, the United States is facing a serious consumer debt crisis that must be tackled if we want to see any kind of lasting recovery. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for more updates on the consumer debt crisis.